Hey guys! So today we will have a closer look at the new codes module from VCV. It's a commercial module and there's of course a link in the description um, to where you can get it. And let's start with a quick look at what we are dealing with. Codes is a four channel code generator. So it's perfect for quickly programming um, chords with up to four notes. And we can program up to 10 um, different chords in 10 different um, presets and sequence between them. So let's really program some chords. Um, we have here the four um, channels and also here you can see four channels and one, two, three and four. Let's um, um, select channel one. We can select it here or can select it also here. And channel one will be the note D. Then let's go to channel two. Channel two will be the note F. Channel three will be the note A. And let's leave channel four at C. And already you can notice that here preset one we have um, D minor seventh. Now if you don't want it to show um, to show you the code name, you can also change this in the right click menu, show known code names, and then it will just show preset one or the preset you are on, but let's leave it on for now. Very nice. Now let's move to preset two and we can program another code, but we have to start all over again. So what we can do is go back to preset one and uh, we can left click this window here and then we have a few options and we can choose to copy this code go to preset 2 left click it again and then paste this code and now preset 2 is also d minor 7th and now by dragging by clicking and dragging this uh, point here this hub we can um, move between the different uh, notes we can just drag this and move so let's go to uh, let's say g so now we have g minor seventh and if we left click um, this uh, area again we can also duplicate this code to everything um, below it so you can see we have preset one is d minor seventh preset two is g minor seventh and from three and on we have um, c so if i duplicate this to all below now everything below preset two will be also g minor seventh so let's go um, to preset three now and change this to a minor seventh for example again by clicking and dragging this here i can go to a minor seventh now this should be enough to get us started so let's start adding some voices some oscillators we will start with saws from uh, squinky labs which is this then the w c o from edge then let's go with energy from the geodesics very nice and let's use also bleak from volt very nice we will use the pitch information um, to the oscillator so channel one will go to source channel two will go to the wco channel three will go to energy and channel four will go to bleak now let's send all of the oscillators to a four channel mixer and i will use the one from bog audio for now and let's send them we can also lower the levels a bit one two three four let's level lower the levels and also pen them so let's go let's say um left right and then a bit left and a bit right and now let's send this to the mixer oh yeah and we have chords now i also have some reverb here from plateau and we have the chord now we can move between the chords so here we have preset 3, it's uh, A minor 7th, preset 2, preset 1. Let's change the settings of the oscillators a bit. Let's take source maybe an octave down, raise the mix and lower the detune. Energy, we can detune the oscillators. something like this let's take maybe bleak also an octave down very nice now let's use the 8 fo to modulate the oscillators let's set it to slow and set the lfo to be unipolar by um, pushing the offset all the way up maybe slow it down a bit 
and let's modulate the window of the WCO just to add some movement the FM of energy the pulse width of bleak oh yeah and also the wave shape of bleak so we have some movement and again we can change the chords now another thing we can do here if I zoom in a bit you can see we can change the octave of each note in the chord and by that changing the inversion or, uh, inversions also so let's go to preset 1 for example you see um, voice 3 is one octave lower than the others let's take it one up let's go to preset 2 take voice 4 one octave up preset 3 Again, voice 4, one octave up. So we can change the voicing and the inversions. Very nice. Now we can start sequencing um, the chords. Let me just mute this for a second. So we can start sequencing the chords and for this we have two options. Um, we can use the advanced input um, for going sequentially between the chords. And we can do this, let's say, with a clock. So let's use the main clock to the advance. I will let's listen to this again. You can see it's just going from one preset to the other sequentially. And this will go through all of the presets. But we can also use the ADDR. Let's disconnect it for a second and mute this. We can also use the ADDR input and for sequencing the presets with the volt per preset control so one volt will be um, preset one um, two volts will be preset two six volts will be preset six and so on so let's really use the ADDR sequencer from BOG audio for example of course you can use um, all sorts of modules for this but for now we will use the ADDR sequencer Let's change its uh, range in the right click menu to zero to positive 10 volts. Again, we are dealing with, uh, with um, one volt per preset. Let's set a four step sequence, send this to the ADDR input of chords. And now let's go step by step and set the values. So step one will be preset one, so all the way left we have preset one, let's go to step number two. This will be preset three. So this here, the A minor seventh. Let's go to step three, it will be preset two in this case, one, two, very nice. And step four will be again preset three. And let's have a listen to this. Let's run this first of all with a divided clock, the sequencer, the ADDR with a divided clock, and let's have a listen. And again, go back to step one. So step one, preset one. Step two, preset three, and so on. So we have a chord progression. Very nice. Let's add also a filter, a stereo filter after the mixer, just to add a, a bit more movement. We will use the F35 from Blamsoft. Let's just make the connections. This will be left and right. Let's add some resonance. And now we can modulate Oh yeah, the frequency, the cutoff frequency with again with the 8FO. Let's say it starts from here. Very nice. Okay, let's add another chords. I will just duplicate the one we have here. And this time, let's go preset by preset and randomize it. 
I will just um, um, hit Control R on the preset section, and you can see it's randomizing it. This is preset one, two, three, four, and so on. I will just randomize all the presets so we get ten different chords or note uh, notes or pitch information. Now let's do something like this. Let's use a quantizer, and I will use Quantum from ML. Very nice, and I use a quantizer um, because I want to stay inside a certain scale, even after randomizing everything. Let's activate four notes. We will go with D, F, G, and A. Now, in the right-click menu of chords, we have the possibility to activate uh, polyphony, um, polyphonic outputs, so let's activate them. And now what this will do, it will sum the outputs um, into a polyphonic signal, starting from output 2. So output 2 will output channel 1 and 2 together. Output 3 will um, output 1, 2 and 3. Output 4 will output all of the channels. Now let's send output 4 to quantum. Of course quantum um, is also polyphonic. And from there let's split the signal and also split the gate outputs. So you can see we have four channels. Now let's use an FM operator again, Bog Audio. Let's activate its level envelope and set a nice snappy envelope. And let's duplicate it. So we have four, one, two, three, and four. And let's use the pitch information from the split module. One, two, three, and four, and also the gates to trigger the envelopes of the FM operator. Again, I have um, um, random notes going into quantum, which is quantizing them, and from there to four oscillators. Let's send this to another four channel mixer. One, two, three, and four. And from there, let's go to the main mixer. One and two, very nice. And now let's drive chords with a multiplied clock. I have here a, a clock multiplied by four, and this will go to the advanced input. So it will go, uh, it will go from preset one to 10 sequentially. Let's solo this also, or mute this other channel so we can listen just to this. And of course, also here we can change the octaves. Oh yeah, we have a nice sequence. Let's modulate also the feedback amount of the FM operators again with the 8FO. Let's see, we have two channels here, one and two. And let's take another one and another one here. Open the attenuators. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's listen to everything together. Very nice. Okay, let's add a nice bass with Basil from Vult. Let's use the first channel of the first chords, which is a sort of our frequency, a bass frequency or fundamental note. We will use this for Basil. Let's send it to the mixer. Take it one octave down. Oh yeah. We can modulate also basal with the 8FO. Oh yes!
now we can also transpose codes through the uh, root input so let's do something like this let's use the constants from ml which will output constant voltage in um, steps of semitones and i will use also a sequential switch sequential switch also from ml very nice and let's send the positive five semitones to inputs five and six and let's send um, positive seven to seven and eight let's just connect also the reset of all of the different sequences we have we have the addr we have chords which also has a reset input another chords and the sequential switch also very nice now let's um, send the switch only to the second chords to um, transpose the second chords and we will use a divided clock to run the switch the same divided clock by eight and reset everything okay let's have a listen and here it will be transposed by five semitones here by seven oh yeah alive yes 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 very nice okay let's add a nice steady kick to this with using tremo 2 again volt I will just use the main clock and send this to the mixer change the sound a bit oh yeah something darker oh yes oh yes And let's sidechain the chords and the bass. So I will need for the chords two VCAs. I will use the ones from VCV. One, two. Let's make the connections. Send after the filter to the VCA. And I will need another VCA for the bass. Now, Tremor, let me show you this also on the scope has an envelope follower output which will output the envelope of the kick drum of the bass drum and what we will need to do is invert it and push it up and i will show you also why so i will use the dual attenuverter from befaco let's send the envelope also to the dual attenuverter and to the scope so first of all i will invert it so you can see we have the inverted signal and now i have to push it upward so it will start from zero and go up push the offset all the way up and now we have the inverted signal we can use for side chaining for example so let's use this oh yeah oh yes very nice One more time because it's fun oh yeah very nice okay that was it like always there will be a link in the description to this patch Feel free to download it and take a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a patron. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.